Days of our lives is getting more and more unpredictable recently. But fear not, we have the most calculated predictions for you. Our predictions include how the new Abby will be a nuisance at Chad's side and how Fiona Cook may cross a line so be sure to stick till the end to find out everything about it. New Abigail's mystery continues. We kick things off with the new Abigail who is introducing herself as Marin, but the entire storyline is pretty much confirming that she is Abigail. However, she says she's not Abby. We are not sure if she is deluded or saying the truth. We can tell that Jack and Chad are breaking down doors on Friday because of the surprised expressions on their faces. However, they won't locate this Abby slash Marin. They're going to meet someone else completely, and based on teasers, it appears that they meet her on Thursday, August 8th. After spotting a lady listening in on them, Jack, Chad, and this week's promo, rather than Abby, are speaking. She denies being Abigail when they tell her who they believe her to be. We've been informed that she will go by Marin, so that's what we think. However, might she be a recast of Abby who has been tricked into wondering who she really is? A third possibility could be a long-winded case of twins or doppelganger storyline, so stay tuned for more about her truth. Body and Soul updates Perhaps Bonnie Lockhart Kiriakis would want to star in Body and Soul with her closest friend, Hattie Adams. Hattie turned up for the Body and Soul audition last week which is fantastic since she looks just like Marlena, who looks exactly like one of the soap opera stars that Abe used to be. After she was cast, Hattie was reading a line from her scripts about requesting someone to kill her husband when Bonnie approached her at the bar in the promo. Given that Thrust Manning had a significant role in all of this, is she married to him? All we can question is if Bonnie will feel envious. Bonnie and Hattie shared a spoiler selfie at the pub from the August 7th episode, so we know these two ladies will be together. Because Hattie believes it would be hilarious to have her best friend work on the soap opera alongside her, Bonnie could ask Hattie if she can help her obtain an audition. Or Hattie might even volunteer to speak with Kate and Abe if Bonnie were cast in the role that Kayla Brady or Mary Beth Evans had on Body and Soul, that may be rather intriguing. Not because they are particularly similar in appearance, but you know, blondes of a certain age. Bonnie doesn't have a lot on her plate, so having her and Hattie around for a little while would be entertaining. Fiona stirs up trouble. Fiona could attempt to thwart Sarah and Xander's third attempt at marriage. Thus, we are hoping that Xander and Sarah's wedding will be held at the Kiriakis mansion on Wednesday, August 7th. Given that Fiona has previously informed Sarah that she does not believe her son's marriage is appropriate at this time, would she attempt to sabotage it once more? She maintains that she is here for him and not for his money. She believes that he needs time to comprehend the news that he is Victor's son because of all the turmoil that has followed. Sarah chastised her for pushing him into something he shouldn't be rushing into, saying there was no urgency. They have a lengthy history of dating. She is a wealthy doctor who first fell in love with him when he was destitute, so it's not about the money for her too. On Wednesday of that same week, Brady and Fiona agreed to keep things a secret. Will Fiona attempt to have her way with this? or will she be too focused on Brady Black? In the teaser, Brady and Fiona can be seen making out and hitting the sheets, which suggests that they might have done it the night before. After sobering up, Mama Cook shows up at Xander and Sarah's wedding to cause trouble. Alex and Stephanie come close. Alex and Stephanie comfort one other. Maybe this will lead to something. Stephanie is saddened to learn that Everett died and that he told her he loved her right before he went away. Alex Kiriakis has moved back into his former flat across the hall from her return, which has got to be painful as he was living there with Teresa while she was manipulating him all the time. Alex will have a difficult week starting on Monday, August 5th. Teresa has ruined both of their lives, so he's bonding drunkenly with Brady in the bar. Prior to Alex and Stephanie cleaning up at the apartment complex on Tuesday, August 6th, they are chatting at the bar. She tells him that he was caught off guard when Everett passed away. On Friday, August 9th, she is still inconsolable. According to the official teasers, Alex seeks Stephanie's assistance in getting over the hurt that Teresa gave him. I hope those two are comforting each other in turn. Though Alex could feel better if she weren't living, Alex's wife did him dirty and is still alive. Meanwhile, Stephanie's situation is complicated. Bobby took over, pretended to be Everett, and then dumped her. Perhaps she regrets trusting him now rather than staying to support him, believing that she had the chance to save him. They currently believe it to be suicide, but doubts will undoubtedly surface soon. Jada onto Connie? 
Because of Connie Vinisky's error, Jada might be pursuing her for murder. Absurd living smugly in the same apartment where she killed Lee Sean, her infatuation, is Connie. She now appears to have successfully framed Bobby for Rafe's stabbing by utilizing the entire note about him wanting Jada. She works for Gabby, the lady she framed for it. She then left the bottle of pills, the suicide note, and the gloves, but we're not sure if it will stick. She committed a few errors, such as leaving an oxycodone oxycotton bottle at his bedside and accidentally adding the same medication to his coffee. But wouldn't you taste my morning cappuccino if you added enough oxycodone? He said he didn't take any when Jada asked how many of these he had taken. Therefore, we're hopeful that Jada will order an autopsy that will demonstrate that the death was caused by poisoning rather than an overdose or an overdose of oxycodone. What became of that suicide note on his computer, and where was the time stamp? It automatically saves if Connie didn't save it to his hard drive. Bobby was being questioned by Jada at the Salem Police Department about who killed Lee and who had stabbed Rafe just before he passed away, as she was typing the note. Because it wouldn't line up with when he went to the police or after, that timeline shouldn't match the moment the document was saved. Jada is already doubtful since, in the teaser, she tells Paulina that the suicide is wrapped up far too nicely.